top tips for wellness in the workplace. Number one, walking meetings. How many times a week do you have a meeting? How many of those do you not really write down too much and you didn't really need to share screen? If that's the case, how many of the meetings in the next week or two could you take on a walk and talk? Get in the steps, get in the fresh air, feel like you're free as well as working together and upkeep your well-being. Number two is a really great one because it's about removing to-do lists. I know that's going to be scary for a lot of you. Now, to-do lists are great in certain things, but the majority of the time they're overwhelming, you never complete them and they just keep getting bigger. This deteriorates our energy, starts procrastination and overwhelm. Unachieving is a really low mood aggravator. So what we need to do is schedule what we can do when we can do it. Use your diary, remove to-do lists and put your to-dos in the diary at times you can manage them and tick them off every single day, feeling like you've achieved every single day. And number three, as a brain health coach, the words we use in our mind and what we speak of are detrimental to our well-being. The word trying is a great example. I'm trying to do this new class. I'm trying something new. It's a bit, huh, and it's making your mind believe that you're not good enough. Instead, start with, well, I've started and it's still new for me. I'm a bit rocky at the moment. Or, I've begun and we're getting there but slowly and surely and it's, it's happening. These are so much more powerful for your mental well-being, for your energy and your self-belief, your self-worth. So that's two minutes of very quick fire of three top tips for you in your workplace. I really hope this is helpful and I really hope you have a great day.